In this video, I will be demonstrating the solutions to two problems involving an epicyclic train. So here is the mechanism and uh, the two problems. For the first problem, the arm rotates in the negative direction once while gear 4 is stationary. So we'll have to find the, the number of rotation of gear 2 and gear 3. We can just uh, see the mechanism in that uh, condition. The uh, gear 4 is stationary while the arm rotates once in the negative direction. So by the formula method, we can easily find the number of rotation of gear 3 and uh, also by the formula method, we can find the number of rotation of gear 2. We cannot proceed to uh, the uh, solution involving our tabulation method where we will have the three steps. We have the given for gear 4, 0 and for the arm negative 1. We have to find the uh, number of revolution of gear 2 and gear 3. For the uh, first step, we have to fill up the boxes with negative 1 and it is as if we are rotating the whole mechanism once in the negative direction. So for the uh, next step, we have to fix the arm. We give it, a, give it a zero revolution. When we add it with negative 1, we will find that it has a resultant of negative 1 which is our given. For gear 4, we will have uh, plus 1 in the box and we add it, negative 1 and plus 1 will have 0, the given for gear 4. So we can see the mechanism. The arm is fixed and gear 4 is rotated once. So we can proceed with the filling up of the boxes for gears 3 and 2. And then we add the uh, numbers in the uh, columns for gear 3 and gear 2 to find our resultant. And here are our answers. For the next problem, the arm rotates plus 3 and gear 2 rotates negative 3. We have to find the number of rotations of gear 3 and gear 4. We can see the mechanism operating in that uh, particular condition. The arm rotates 3 times in the positive direction and gear 2 rotates three times in the negative direction. So by the formula method, we can find the number of rotation of gear 3. And also by the formula method, we can find the number of rotation of gear 4. Now we proceed with the uh, tabulation method. It will involve the three steps. And we know that the arm rotates plus 3, gear 2 rotates negative 3. For the first step, we fill the boxes with plus 3. And that is, if we look at the mechanism, the uh, whole mechanism is rotating 3 times in the positive direction. And uh, 
For the second step, we fix the arm and rotate the gears. So that will be 0 for the arm and negative 6 for gear 2 to give us negative 3 as a resultant for gear 2. The mechanism now is seen here with gear 2 rotating negative 6 times. We can now proceed with the filling up of the boxes and then we can add the values in the columns for gear 3 and gear 4 to find our answers, our resultant for gears 3 and 4.